in a given list find the maximum number and minimum number using java 8 streams well java 8 stream provides max and min methods to find the maximum and minimum numbers first we need to convert a list into stream so numbers is a list it has a stream method and stream has a max method and max method expect comparator as a parameter so here just pass comparator and this max method returns optional so let us call get method to get the value next let us get the result into the local variable of type int next let us put the sysout over here and then print the max value. Next, if I run this program, this should print the maximum number that is 100 from this list. Similarly, let us do it for minimum number. Here, let us convert a list into stream and then call min method and then pass comparator dot natural order and then call get method. And here, let us store the value in a min variable. Put the sysout and print this min value and then run the program and you can see the output minimum 10. Write a Java program to find second largest number in a list of integers. Well, we are going to use Java 8 stream APIs to write this program. So here, let us convert this list into stream by using stream method. And then this stream has a sorted method. So let us call sorted method to sort this list of integers in a reverse order. So here just first comparator dot reverse order. Well, look at here in a list, 89 is the first largest number and 75 is the second largest number. And once we sort the stream in a reverse order, then this 89 becomes first and 79 becomes second so let us skip this 89 by using skip method over here and then pass index 1 once we skip the first largest number that is 89 we can get the second largest number that is 75 by using find first method next let us call get method get the result from the next let us store the result in a integer of type, type result finally put the sysout over here and just print the result next if you run the program you can see 75 is the second largest number in this given array of integers. How do we find the frequency of each character in a string using Java 8 streams? So here is an input string. Let's convert this input string into stream of characters. For that, let's call the cache method. It returns int of streams. Next, this is the ASCII values. So let us convert ASCII values back to the characters by using map to object method. Okay, so map to object returns stream of characters. Count to the frequency of each character from this stream. So here let's call character stream and then call collect method. So this collect method collects the result and here just call the group by method to group the key value pair. So here just call function dot identity. It returns each character in a string and next let's call counting method to count the you know frequency of each character in a group. Next let us take the result into a map. Next finally put the sysout and print the map. Next let's run the program and you can see the output a has a frequency 2. S yes, has a frequency 1. Write a Java program to reverse each word of a string using Java 8. Well, here is an input string. First, let us split this string into words and take the result into a string array. So, let us call it as words and then input string dot call split method. Split the string into a delimiter that is space. Now, we got a string array. Next, let us convert this array into streams by using arrays dot stream method. Next, let us call a map method to map each word in a reverse order. So, here let us provide the lambda expression word is a parameter to the lambda expression and next let us use string builder it has a reverse method right and then pass word and then call its reverse method over here and then convert string builder into again string by using two string method and finally let's call collect method to collect the result next let us store the result into a list of type string and let us call it as a result and finally print the result next let us run the program and you can see each word of a given string is successfully reversed. Write a Java program to remove duplicate elements from a list using Java 8 streams. So here is a list with the duplicate elements. Next, let us remove the duplicate elements from this list using Java 8 stream. So here, this list has a stream method. So let us call this stream method. And this stream has a distinct method. So let us call this distinct method to remove all the duplicate elements and only keep the unique elements. Next, let's call the collect method to collect result back into list. And here, let's take the result into a list of type integer and let's call it as a result. Next, let's put the sysout over here and let's print this result. Next, let us run the program and you can see the output 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This output doesn't contain any duplicate elements. All right, the logic is very simple. First, we convert list into stream and then stream has a distinct method we call distinct method to remove all the duplicate elements and then finally we call the collect method to collect the result back into list and then we print that list over here
Write a Java program to retrieve the last element of a list of a strings using Java stream API. Well, here is a main method within that here is a given a list of strings and we need to find the last element in this given list. Okay, so let us see how we can do that using Java stream API. So here first of all, we need to convert this list into stream by using stream method. Next stream has a skip method to skip the elements from the stream. So let us go ahead and let us skip all these elements except the last one. So here just call skip method and then pass the size of the list by using size method and then we need to keep the last element for that let us have a minus one once we skip all the elements from the stream except the last one next we can get that last element by using find first method over here perfect next let us take the result into a result variable of type string and then print the result next let us run the program and you can see the output 6. So 6 is basically the last element in the given list. Write a Java program to find the age of a person in years if the birthday date has given. For example here I have given my birthday date as a input. Next let us see how I can find my age. First step is we need to get the current date. For that we can use local date. So let us call it as current date local date dot now. So this gives the current date. Next let us calculate the period between birthday date and current date for that let us use period it has between method and then pass start date as birthday date second parameter as current date this between method calculates the period between birthday date and current date next let us take the result into a period let us call it as period next we can get the years from this period so here let's see put out the sysout and then period dot get years all right next let us run the program the output is 32 this is correct because my age is 32 because i have given my birthday date as an input to this program write a java program to print even numbers using java 8 well here is a main method within that here is a given a list of numbers next we need to print the even numbers from this list using java 8 features so here let us convert this list into stream by using stream method next stream has a filter method so let us use filter method to only keep the even numbers in the stream so here filter and filter takes predicate as a function interface and we need to provide the lambda expression. So here let us pass parameter to the lambda expression and then lambda symbol and then n modulo 2 equal equal to 0. So this will calculate the reminder. So here we are using lambda expression to calculate the even numbers. Next let us call for each method to print the result. So here for each method takes consumer interface. So let us have a lambda expression over here. So this is the lambda symbol and within a lambda body let us have a sysout and then print number next let us run the program and you can see the output 2 4 6 8 10 so these are the even numbers write a java program to find the sum of all digits of a number using java 8 well here is a given number it has digits 1 2 3 4 5 first we need to convert the integer number into string and then we will convert that string into stream string dot value of method this string has a cares method so let us call cares method to convert string into stream so here the type is int stream let us call it as stream this int stream represents ascii values of characters of a string next we need to convert the ascii values of the characters back into numerical values for that what we can do is we can call the map method so here we can use character class it has a get numeric value method to get the numeric value from the character next then we can use sum method to sum all the numeric values Next let us store the sum into an integer and then print this sum. Next let us run the program and you can see the output 15. Write a Java program to sort a list of strings alphabetically using Java 8 stream API. Well here is a given list of strings and we need to sort this list of strings alphabetically using Java 8 stream API. Well it's pretty simple. Let us first convert a list into stream. So here words is a list and let us use its stream method to convert list into stream next stream has a sorted method so let us call a sorted method to sort the list of strings in alphabetically next let us collect the sorted stream back into list by using collect method next let us store the result into a list of type string and let us give the variable name as result next let us put the sysout system.println and then print the result next let us run the program and you can see the output the list of strings are sorted in alphabetical order 